Australia's acquisition and operational deployment of the F-35A Lightning II represents one of the most significant advancements in its air combat capabilities in recent decades. With the completion of the acquisition phase, the Royal Australian Air Force now possesses a fleet of 72 F-35As, a vital component of its strategic air power in an increasingly complex Indo-Pacific security environment. However, delays in the implementation of the technology Refresh 3 TR3 software have posed challenges to achieving full operational combat capability, highlighting both the strengths and limitations of relying on next-generation fighter platforms in modern warfare. The TR3 upgrade, which was initially scheduled for rollout in April 2023, has been a focal point of the F-35 program's recent hurdles. Software integration issues led to a year-long halt in F-35 deliveries, impacting not only the United States but also allied nations, including Australia. The decision by the Joint Program Office on 3rd of July 2024 to resume deliveries under a truncated software plan was a crucial step in mitigating further delays. Under this approach, F-35s configured with TR3 are delivered with an interim software version, 40P01, that supports combat training but lacks full operational combat capability. The full version, 40P02, is expected to restore full combat functionality allowing Australia to declare final operational capability. Despite these delays, the integration of the F-35A into the RAF has been a success. The aircraft has significantly enhanced Australia's ability to conduct multi-role air operations, offering superior stealth, advanced sensors, and unparalleled situational awareness. Since the first delivery in 2018, the RAF has steadily built a robust operational framework, with extensive pilot and technician training at RAF Base Williamtown and RAF Base Tyndall. By the end of 2024, the force was fully equipped with all 72 aircraft, signifying a major milestone in its modernization journey. The introduction of advanced weaponry further augments the effectiveness of the F-35A fleet. Australia's recent agreement with Norwegian defense company NAMO to acquire 25mm Apex PGU-47 SU ammunition for the aircraft's J-22A cannon reflects a broader strategy to enhance combat lethality. Designed to penetrate armored and fortified targets, this ammunition introduces a critical capability that aligns with the evolving demands of modern aerial warfare. The ammunition's dual-purpose design, incorporating armor-piercing and explosive effects, makes it a highly versatile addition to the RF's arsenal, further strengthening the fleet's ground attack capabilities. The F-35A's strategic value lies in its ability to integrate seamlessly within a networked battle space, working alongside other assets such as the E-7A Wedgetail, P-8A Poseidon, and allied platforms. This interoperability ensures that Australia remains a key player in joint operations with the United States and other regional partners, particularly in Indo-Pacific security initiatives. Given the region's growing tensions, particularly in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait, the RF's ability to field a modern MERS fifth-generation fighter is essential for deterrence and rapid response capabilities. When compared to regional peers, Australia's F-35A fleet places it at the forefront of air power in the Indo-Pacific. The aircraft provides a substantial qualitative edge over older generation fighters operated by neighboring countries. For example, Indonesia's F-16 and Su-30 fleet, while capable, lacks the stealth and sensor fusion capabilities of the F-35A. Similarly, while Singapore has also acquired the F-35B variant, its fleet size remains limited compared to Australia's. China's J-20 stealth fighter is often cited as a regional competitor, but questions remain regarding its true stealth performance, sensor integration, and operational reliability in combat scenarios. Despite its advantages, the F-35A program is not without its challenges. The aircraft's high operating costs and maintenance complexities continue to be areas of concern. Sustaining a fleet of 72 aircraft requires significant financial investment in maintenance, software updates, and continuous pilot training 
Additionally, any future delays in software upgrades or component shortages could impact the fleet's operational availability. Looking ahead, the RAF's F-35A fleet will play a central role in Australia's defense posture for the next few decades. As emerging threats evolve, particularly in electronic warfare and counter-stealth technologies, continued investments in software updates, such as the upcoming Block 4 enhancements, and weaponry will be critical. The integration of long-range standoff weapons, enhanced electronic warfare capabilities, and improved artificial intelligence-driven decision-making will further solidify the aircraft's effectiveness in future conflicts. Furthermore, the F-35A's impact extends beyond direct combat capabilities. The aircraft plays a key role in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, leveraging its sensor fusion to provide real-time battlefield data. This ability significantly enhances Australia's capacity for multi-domain operations, where land, air, sea, space, and cyber warfare are increasingly interconnected. As the Indo-Pacific faces new challenges, including cyber threats and advanced missile systems, the ability of the F-35A to collect, process, and distribute critical information will be a game-changer for the Australian Defence Force. Another crucial aspect is Australia's investment in pilot training and sustainment infrastructure. The RAF has collaborated closely with the US and allied nations to ensure that pilots receive comprehensive training tailored to fifth-generation combat environments. Training facilities at RAF Base Williamtown and RAF Base Tyndall have been expanded to support both operational and maintenance personnel, ensuring that the fleet remains mission-ready at all times. Additionally, the RAF's participation in multinational exercises such as Pitch Black and Talisman Sabre has provided valuable insights into joint combat scenarios, refining tactics, and enhancing cooperation with allied forces. Australia's commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge air force extends beyond the F-35A. Discussions are already underway about future upgrades, including potential acquisitions of uncrewed aerial combat vehicles to complement manned fighter operations. Programs like the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat, Australia's indigenous loyal wingman drone, highlight the growing emphasis on integrating manned and unmanned systems for enhanced combat effectiveness. This shift reflects a broader trend in modern military strategy, where automation and artificial intelligence play increasingly critical roles. The completion of Australia's F-35A acquisition marks a new era in air combat capability. While delays in TR-3 software integration have created short-term setbacks, the overall trajectory of the program remains positive. By investing in advanced weaponry, optimizing training, and ensuring seamless integration with allied forces, Australia has positioned itself as a dominant air power in the Indo-Pacific. The F-35A is more than just a fighter jet. It is a force multiplier that will shape the RAF's operational effectiveness for years to come, reinforcing Australia's commitment to regional stability and national defence.